So what we're going to talk about today is uh, the last part of SPC, U charts. U charts is used to monitor quality inspections that involve attribute data. Involve attribute data. And uh, the monitoring process is focusing on identifying the uh, defects or the non conformities and when the inspection plan is carried out with inconsistent sampling size. So we're going to use U. Uh, in industry, I did come across people that are using this. Uh, and this chart is, in fact, is also quite complicated. Uh, you will know by the end of this uh, video. Uh. All right. Uh, so the concept is same as C chart that we discussed earlier. Uh, the only thing difference is in U chart, you're going to apply U chart when the number of samples they pick at each subgroup is very is different. Huh? Okay, so this is the one that like U chart and in I forgot to mention that C chart, the name of C chart is non-conformity per unit chart and uh, U chart, the common name is friction non-conformity per unit against SPC. SPC is something that differs uh, from <clears throat> other subjects like statistics. There are many terminology that used by different uh, authors. Right? Okay, <clears throat> what is this slide about? Uh, the slide looks exactly the same as C-chart. The only thing that different for C-chart is here. Very weak sample size. What does it mean? The objective, the same slide. In fact, I didn't change. You chart is used to identify the process capability. This only could be done when the process is stable. And uh, stable means it's uh, statically under control. And then the importance, SPC, I think, I, I hope that you can appreciate the powerful thing about SPC. With the SPC, a management team, especially the quality uh, staff or quality department, not able to monitor uh, the performance of quality. So SPC is one of the very good tools huh, for uh, improvement in terms of product and process quality. Okay. So the difference between U chart and C chart is we're still inspecting PCB, the same example that I use uh, in C chart. But for this time, what you can notice here is in the mornings, when the inspector is inspecting non-conformity or defects that could be found in the PCB, the inspector is taking different number of sample. In the morning, perhaps it's because the production just started. So subgroup ones, because the production just started, there are not many PCB that produce by the assembly line, so he decided to pick five. And out of the five PCB or printed circuit board that picked by the inspector, there are six non-conformity found, there are six defects. Or improper soldering, solder burns, IC chip missing, okay. Then when come to the second inspections, perhaps in the afternoon, uh, the production is picking up. So the quantity of the PCB produce is increased. Therefore, the inspector is picking more sample in this round, he picked 10. And out of the 10, four defects or four non-conformity found. So as compared to the example of C chart that we discussed earlier, for this round, the number of samples picked by the inspectors at each subgroup or each time that he is inspecting is varying. It's not the same. Okay. In that case, then we use uh, U chart. Sound very familiar. Quite similar to the P chart, correct? very simple. So <clears throat> the formula of a uh, centralized upper control and lower control 
for uh, C chart, for U chart is what you can see from the slides. So the center lines of the uh, U charts. The, the thing that students might confuse is now you try to find U, the U is not here until you have the C. Yeah? Okay, so the center line of the U chart is equal to the total number of non-conformity per unit divided by the total number of sample they inspected. So in, in my example earlier on, uh, my total number of non-conformity per inspections per, per unit is equal to of C is equal to 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. And my total number of sample that inspected is uh, 15. Okay, 10 plus 5. So, and uh, the upper control limit and lower control limits will be varied. Okay, have different widths. Is what we did in PCharge. And this is a common formula that's used in every single statistical book that uh, upper control limit equal to uh, the center line, mu use plus 3, square root of mu, uh, u, u bar, I said mu u, no, u bar plus 3 square root of u bar divided by n. Uh, n here is me. This is the standard formula. If me, uh, it's better to put the i here. Like, I mean, every single uh, sample. Uh. Okay. Look at look at the take a look on the example. This is an example. Okay, a textile finishing plants. Uh. Okay. Uh, so you see, they have uh, inspecting 30, 30 subgroups. The subgroup size 30. <clears throat> then n is vary from subgroup to subgroup. Okay, 110, 82. Okay. And C is the total number of uh, non conformities uh, per unit, uh, the total defect that found from the 110. Okay, so uh, you see, if this is the difference between a uh, non conforming item and defect, defects, the number of defects can be more than the number of samples because uh, in one sample you could find more than one defect set. Okay, so this is the scenario. So in order for us to calculate uh, the center line, the center line is equal to the total number of non-conformity per unit, which is here, non-conformity here, divided by the total number of samples uh, that inspected. So therefore, it's equal to 3389 divided by 2823 uh, and you got the center line of 1.2. 1.2. Okay. So uh, subsequently, we're going to calculate the upper control limit and lower control limit. Upper control limit and lower control limit with is uh, is not a, a consistent control limit. It varies from uh, subgroup to subgroup. So we have to calculate the upper control limit for every single subgroup. Okay, nightmare, right? Okay, example, we start with January. Okay, the upper control limit for January is equal to U bar. This is U bar. You follow the formula that we have just now. U bar plus 3 divided by square root of u bar divided by n n is the sample size of subgroup number one which is one one zero then you get one five one point five one then the lower control limits instead of plus you minus then you get zero point eight nine bear in mind here bear in mind here you have to repeat the same process. You have to repeat the same process uh, from for every single subgroup. Okay, every single subgroup you have to repeat. So for January, at the meantime, you also need to calculate what is the 
non-conformity per unit for uh, this particular subgroup, okay? Upper control limit done, lower control limit done. The next thing you have to calculate. For subgroup one, what is the U? The U is equal to one, two, zero, divided by one, one, zero, right? Okay, the formula, with the formula here, here. Uh, U is equal to C divided by N. So you have to calculate the U, and then uh, you have to repeat these three steps, calculating upper control limit, lower control limit, and U for every single subgroup, and you will get this. Okay, January, okay, this is a U, this is C, this is upper control, this is lower control. But bear in mind, the, the center line will be the same. Right? Uh, the center line will be the same. And by having uh, the upper control limit, lower control limit, U bar, and the U itself, then uh, these, these three are from the question, that like subgroup, and here is from the question, repeat. This is from the questions. And U is equal to uh, C divided by N, right? Okay. The upper control limit and lower control limit, you have to follow the formula to calculate. And by having that, they start plotting. You can start plotting the chart. <laughs> okay. So this, this chart, uh, normally if we use it, we use in, we, we plot it using computer software. Like we never calculate manually. Um, I would say personally, like personally, this chart is not very useful because uh, the control limits is uh, very like, mm. but but uh, if you are the company that practicing an inspection plan with inconsistent sampling size, this is the only chart that you can use huh, when come to attribute. No? So uh, there are still company using this, okay, uh, and that's it for U chart. Huh? U chart, unlike P chart, you can use P chart. Even the the sample is varying, you still can use a. Uh, consistent uh, upper limit and control limit, but you just, you, you can't. Why? It's because there are too many uncertainties. Eh? You have different number of sample, and then the one, two, zero is not talking about the defective item, it's talking about the defect. So this con inconsistent in uncertainty, like uh, make you cannot fix, uh, cannot fix the control limit, so you have to practice the uh, control limit with different width, all right. And uh, okay, 